So you are trying to accept a trade in Steam, but you get an error. Sorry, an error was encountered while processing your request. There was an error retrieving your trade offers. Please try again later. This error has happened before. The first notion of it is about from 11 years back. However, this particular issue is new. At the moment I'm making this video, it has been happening for about a week. So it's not caused by the protected trades update per se, since that was released about two days back. However, they are related. It seems that the trade list fails to load when you have way too many protected items in the trade list, about 10 or more. And you cannot accept trades neither in the client nor in the web browser. This is a Steam side error, and that means a couple things. First of all, you cannot fix it on your end. Second, this video will probably not age well, since Steam is about to fix this error pretty soon, I guess. And lastly, since there is no fix on your end, and this video is titled Fix, so the name of the video is a lie, since the channel is named Easy Lie. Anyway, even though you cannot fix it, there are a few workarounds to get the trades accepted. Since the trades still do come through, you just don't have an interface to accept them. So what you could do, if you use some kind of a marketplace like CS Float to get your skins and everything, you can accept trades there. Your second option is to use the browser. The first thing you can use is Steam Inventory Helper extension. It's a well-established extension, it seems to be legit and secure, and you don't have to worry much that it will steal your account or something like that. So what you need to do is to log in to Steam in a web browser, install the extension, and then in the extension icon there will be trades section where you can accept the trades. Another way is to use a script in the development console or a development script, which is made into an extension both from the same author. You can find the script on GitHub. First of all, it's open source, so everyone with enough knowledge can check what it is actually doing, and it's not something new. So this fella first released it five years ago, and in the last week he updated it to fix the new issue. And you have two options. The first one is to run the script directly in the development console of your browser. The other option is to download and unzip the extension from GitHub, import it into your browser. Since it's a file-based extension, there are a few steps you have to follow. They are easy. And after you either run the script in the browser or use the extension, you will be able to see the links for the trades, open them and accept them. So these are the known workarounds as of now, and probably Valve will fix this problem in the near future, and we don't have to worry about the same recurrent problem until they break it again. I'll leave the links to the script and to the extensions on my website, which you can find in the description. I am the god of YouTube! Like, subscribe, jingle bells.